Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this DIY headband holder. So if you like this and you want to learn how to make it, then just keep on watching. So these are the materials that you're going to need for this DIY project. You're going to need wood. We got a 6 foot piece of wood and we got it at Home Depot. We got it cut into 12 inch pieces so we ended up with 6 pieces. But one ended up shorter because that's how they cut it at Home Depot. We are going to be using the sawtooth hangers to place at the back of the wood so that we can hang it onto the wall. And I'm going to be using this E6000 glue for the clothespins to glue them onto the wood. You're going to need paint, your choice of paint. I am using white paint for the clothespins and I'm using gray paint for the pieces of wood. You're obviously going to need paint brushes so I got a bigger one for the wood and a smaller one for the clothespin. And you're also going to need some nails and a hammer. You're also going to use sandpaper or a sander to just sand off the edges so that you don't have any rough edges on your pieces of wood. So I started off by laying out the clothespins on the piece of wood to see how many I wanted on each piece of wood and I came to the conclusion that I wanted 6 clothespins on each piece of wood. So since I ended up with 5 even pieces and 1 piece that was short, I decided that on the shorter piece I was going to write her name and paint it on. So we ended up tearing a plastic poncho that we had just laying around and we put it in our table to protect it and we decided to do everything inside so we painted everything. I didn't record that because it would be a waste of a lot of filming to do so we basically just painted all the pieces of wood gray and I sat down and painted each clothespin white. It was kind of annoying but I really wanted this so I did it anyways. So I ended up painting 30 clothespins. So I ended up printing out Ana Sofia's name and then I cut it out and this is what it looked like and then I just traced it onto a piece of wood and painted it on. So I used the E6000 glue to glue on the clothespins. Honestly I just eyeballed it and then I gave it to Jonathan and he just followed that and made the rest. So after all of your pieces of wood are completely dry and the clothespins are dry, you're going to want to add the sawtooth hangers to the back of the piece of wood. We were originally going to put one on each side but then decided that one in the middle was just good enough. And once the sawtooth hook is put on properly, this is what it should look like from the back. What you're going to want to do next is go to wherever you want the hangers to be and mark out wherever you want them and just place a nail with the hammer and just start hanging them. And finally for the fun part you get to start hanging up all the beautiful bows. And yes, don't mind my pajamas and my sweater. My husband keeps the house super cold, so I have to wear a sweater in my own house. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love how it turned out. I love that it adds a lot of color to my daughter's room. I love how colorful it is. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any future video requests or questions on this DIY project. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!